Good morning guys, so it is currently about 5.30 in the morning on Saturday and I'm about to start, oh, <laughs> about to start what might be one of my most random vlogs yet because Jay and I are just heading up to the Yorkshire Dales where we're going to be doing the Three Peaks Challenge which if you haven't heard of it is basically where you walk up the three biggest peaks in Yorkshire and it's about a 24 mile hike. We've done it fully once before and it was hard and then we half did it last year which I actually vlogged on my channel as I think the second ever video that I ever put up um, because we basically set off too late and got lost but today we're setting off super early and hopefully we're not going to get lost so I thought I might as well film the day and show you everything that we get up to whilst we're doing the hike and then I'm planning to also vlog tomorrow as our recovery day because we're also going to like a food festival nearby us which should be quite fun and of course as always I'll talk you through all of the books that I'm reading because it wouldn't really be one of my vlogs if I could talk about books so for now we're obviously driving which is why the camera is shaking all over the place I've made myself some peanut butter on toast for breakfast and I'll catch up with you once we arrive um, at the Three Peaks Challenge. So it's currently about 9.35, so we've been walking for almost three hours now um, and we're on the way from the first peak, which is Penny Ghent, to Wernside and I think we're probably about halfway there now, but this is probably the longest part of all of the walk just because there's a really long, huge flat bit where you just have to walk between the first two peaks. So that's what we're up to now, but so far I've got a little bit of knee and ankle pain because I already had a bit of a knee injury, but other than that I'm having a fun time, so yeah, we'll catch up with you later when we've done a little bit more. So it's now about 10.30 and we've just reached the bottom of the second peak which is Wernside so we're about to start walking up this one. Now this one is definitely the longest peak to get up but it's probably the easiest walk because there's no like really steep bits, it's just a long steady climb so it's a bit of a slog but we should be able to get that and then once we've done that we've only got one more to go and I think we're probably going to end up cracking the snacks out soon because I definitely need some sugar to keep me going. Better. How are you feeling right now? Dead. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> So it's 12 o'clock and we just reached the top of Wernside and my legs are dead but we're just heading down now and we've only got one more peak to go. How gratified do you feel by the flat ground? <sighs> so nice. So it's now 20 past one and we've just reached the bottom of the final peak which is Ingleborough and we're just starting our walk up there now. So this one isn't quite as big as Wernside so it'll probably only take us about an hour but we're just starting that climb now and I will catch you when we get to the top.
So it is now 25 to 5 and we finally just got back to the car um, after about 9 hours and 40 minutes of solid walking. But that means that we actually completed the three peaks which I'm super happy about because as I said we've done it once before but the last time we tried we messed it up and got lost so it was nice to actually come back and complete it and it was the perfect day for it so it was lovely weather but not too hot but my legs are feeling it right now. They are so stiff and tired but I'm definitely really proud of the fact that we actually finished it and it was a big challenge that I definitely enjoyed although my legs definitely didn't enjoy it but now we're about to head home and of course have a delicious dinner to make up for all of the hard work that we've done today so I'll see you when I get home and make some food so we've just gone home and clearly I've made my way straight to bed because my legs are so dead. But we just checked our step count, I just checked it on my Fitbit and we did like 62,000 steps today which is just a wild amount of steps which definitely explains why my legs are so tired. Not to mention the fact that we did the steps going up three mountains which is kind of crazy as well. But yes, home now, I'm currently just resting. I'm gonna some point drag myself into the shower and then think about dinner. But weirdly right now, I'm not even that hungry. So we'll see what I come up with later on. So I've just gotten out of the shower and it turns out that whilst we were walking today, it was kind of sunny. I didn't think it was that warm, but clearly my skin does because it is so red. You can kind of see under my eyes and on my nose that I'm a bit red, like the back of my hand is a bit red, but the really just like disgustingly red part is the back of my neck, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the mirror. It doesn't really show up all that well in this light, but it's like really, really red. Um, so that's basically what's happened to me today. But now that I'm out of the shower, I am definitely feeling a little bit less dead. My feet and everything feel a lot better, but I'm still super tired. Um, but now I'm gonna head downstairs and make some noodles for dinner and then come up and watch some TV. We were actually planning on watching a film tonight, but I think both Jay and I are really, really tired and far too tired to actually stay awake for a full film. So I think we'll just watch something like Peep Show instead and just chill out with dinner. So after dinner we made it through about one episode of the words. After dinner, we made it through about one episode of Peep Show and then I felt like I was completely ready to crash. However, I haven't actually done any reading for the past couple of days, which feels quite bad. Um, so I've decided to make myself a quick cup of tea and I'm going to drink that and read in bed for a little while um, of my current read, which is A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin, which is the third book in the A Song of Ice and Fire series and so far I'm really enjoying it. I just haven't been making all that much time for reading at the moment so I'm going to make myself read a couple of chapters at least before I crash and go to sleep but yeah I'm going to drink my tea and read and have a really cosy evening before going to bed super early. <laughs> Morning guys, so it's currently about 8am on Sunday morning and as you'll be able to see my sunburn has definitely come out even more overnight and so it's really sore but I've put loads of like aloe vera after sun on it so I'm hoping that will help it a little bit but um, we've actually been up for a couple of hours, neither Jay or I could really sleep in so we woke up at about 6am and we've had breakfast and everything um, and our major plan for today is that we're going to a food festival that's near us which I'm super excited about but that doesn't open until 10 o'clock so I've got a couple of hours to kill so I'm gonna make a cup of tea and do a little bit more reading of A Storm of Swords before we head out later.
So it's been a little while now and I'm super excited because we're just about to head out to the food fair. So I've gotten ready and I'm so ready to spend pretty much all of my money on good vegan food. I don't know exactly how much vegan stuff is going to be there, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there'll be quite a bit because there usually seems to be vegan options at these kind of like artisanal food fair type things anyway so I'm hoping I'll find some good things but before we head out I just wanted to give a quick update on my reading of A Storm of Swords because I'm really enjoying this book. Um, so far I found that each time we read a new book my like favourite perspectives are changing so in this book I'm definitely really enjoying Sansa and Arya's perspectives because they're just really interesting and I feel like both of those characters are undergoing quite significant development at the moment however I also wanted to come in and just let you know that basically in the last book which was A Clash of Kings every single time there was a Daenerys chapter I found myself like rolling my eyes because her chapters were just so boring but I'm hoping that that has changed because I've now just been a 20 page Daenerys chapter and I was dreading it because her chapters are always so long but I actually quite enjoyed that one and I'm hoping that her storyline is about to start getting a bit more interesting. So yep yeah, those are my thoughts on this book so far. I'm currently about 330 pages in so I've got at least another 200 or so pages to go but for now we're heading out to the food festival so I'll take you along and show you what's there. <laughs> just gotten back in the car after leaving the food festival and I had such a good time. There wasn't as much vegan stuff as I had hoped for but there was still plenty for me to try um, and I just love looking at food whether it's vegan or not. I'm just obsessed with food in general so I absolutely loved it but aside from that flat earth sourdough wrap which I had which was incredible by the way um, I also picked up a couple of treats. So the first one I can't actually remember what the name of the company was because their like packaging doesn't have anything on it so I do apologize. But I got like a carrot cake loaf which which should be amazing because two of my favorite cakes are carrot cake and coffee cake I just think they're so tasty so this should be really good and I'm going to treat myself to that one later and then the next one was from a really cute company called Little Loaves and I obviously remembered this one because they put their card in the box um, and their company looked so cute they had a couple of vegan options it wasn't all vegan but everything they had looked super good so the vegan option I went for was also obviously a loaf cake and it was this like chocolate caramel popcorn loaf cake and I love popcorn I love caramel and I also quite like chocolate so this should be a definite winner for me so those are the little treats I picked up for myself but yeah I just had such a nice time walking around the food festival and exploring all of the different foods but for now I think we're just going to quickly nip to the supermarket and then head home for what was probably going to be a very chilled afternoon of reading and recovering from yesterday's walk. so it's a couple of hours later now and I've just been um, like chipping away at editing for the past couple of hours I had a little bit of a nightmare because I was almost finished with the video and stupidly didn't save it and then Adobe crashed part way through editing and I lost all of my progress so I was super annoyed and decided that I had to start editing a different video because I just couldn't face going back and redoing everything I'd just done so I'm gonna have to do that later but I'm feeling a lot more calm and zen now um, and I'm just about to go and make dinner which is making me even happier because we're having pasta and garlic bread for dinner which is basically my favorite dinner of all time and whilst we're watching dinner we're going to watch the film that we planned to watch yesterday evening but we're too tired to watch and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone which I'm just super excited to watch again because it's such a lovely nostalgic film so yeah I'm going to go and make dinner and get cozy and watch Harry Potter. Thank you. 
So we've just finished up watching Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone which was of course lovely because all of the Harry Potter films are amazing to watch but I always find that the first two in particular are such lovely ones to watch because nothing too dark happens so they really are just like 100% cosy and wholesome and lovely and they just make me feel so nostalgic. So I obviously really enjoyed watching that but it's now pretty much like half eight on nine o'clock and I'm still so tired from yesterday's long walk so I'm probably going to end up going to bed quite soon so I'm thinking I'm going to sort of finish this vlog up here so I hope you've enjoyed seeing me do the three peaks challenge and watch me struggle with sunburn and not being able to walk for the rest of the day today so thanks for watching I'll see you next time